former President Donald Trump goes on trial Monday. You barely notice the significance of that statement, right? Somehow the idea of a former president on criminal trial Monday doesn't get our attention that much. But here's a question that will get your attention. Will Melania be there? Hillary Clinton stood by former President Bill Clinton, even through the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Countless other political wives have walked the courthouse steps. We saw Melania this weekend at John Paulson's $110 million Palm Beach mansion for her husband's fundraiser. Kate Glassman Bennett covered Melania during her time as First Lady, wrote the book Free Melania, an unauthorized biography. She going to be there? No. Hard pass. That's not. <laughs> if, if I know anything about Melania, having covered her for many years, uh, no, she will not be there. And that's, and let me just say that this is one of the things I really respect about Melania is that she did not ever, nor does she now, play the role of the typical political spouse. You know, she, when Stormy Daniels happened, for right. instance, she wasn't there, uh, you know, by his side. She was angry. She took that separate vehicle to the State of the Union, which has never been done. Um, so, I, you know, I think she's really, this is not publicity that she wants to get into. All right, so, and there was the famous, you know, do you, you know, I, don't I really know, don't care. Do you, you? The, the jacket? Okay. Um, someone did say <laughs> if she did show up, what jacket would she wear? If she walked into the courthouse. But in a larger sense, and we put up some of the pictures. And to be fair, she was different first lady than anybody else. You covered her and realized. I mean, former model, extraordinarily right. elegant, had sort of a, ten, a sense of grace and class and touch yeah. that people compared to Jackie O. In a, in a very, in a very different way. The Guardian declared her Melania Trump, uh, Trump campaign's secret weapon. If she does decide. Mm -hmm. to get back in the game. Yeah. Is there a role to play? Absolutely. And I respect Arwa saying that in her piece. The issue is, is this happens every time with Melania, and she doesn't. So 2016, 2020, and now again. And to be fair, she is going to be at a fundraiser, and she did appear this weekend at that other fundraiser, and she's going to doing something with Log Cabin Republicans. But there... That's at Mar-a-Lago, so it's literally her walking downstairs, right, to go to this event. And I'm, I'm not saying that in a, in a disparaging way, but she has never liked the campaign trail. Right. In fact, when I wrote my book about her, several sources said they just stopped asking her to make appearances because she, the answer would be no. And it's because she's private. It's because she doesn't want the scrutiny. Um, and, and I think she sort of saves her appearances for the, the convention or for, you know, really sort of blockbuster moments. But she is not an active campaigner, which I will say is disappointing because first ladies typically are secret weapons for presidents. Uh, you think, uh, so this is interesting, right? Uh, unfavorable ratings of first ladies. Jill Biden, 29%. Laura Bush, 20%. I don't know how you couldn't like Laura Bush. Hillary Clinton, 39%. <laughs> Nancy Reagan, 23%. Melania Trump, 47%. How do people dislike someone so much who is so unseen? <laughs> well, I think this is towards the end of Trump's presidency, and I think there was just the sort of carryover from his presidency, yeah. January and She doesn't 6th. really care. And she, I, don't, I don't think she cares. I do think, you know... For, again, first ladies typically have a stance, a project, uh, you know, something that they care about. I don't think people really ever got into Be Best, which was her platform. Um, and then towards the end of Trump's presidency, she sort of disappeared. She right. did fewer and fewer uh, events, and, and she didn't get involved in any of, of the sort of nastiness of that last campaign. We did. I remember I, I traveled with her to do one campaign appearance, and I want to say it was within maybe 10 you days. You think part of it is because people treated her so par poorly? I, I I think she doesn't like the scrutiny, but I also think she just didn't want to. And again, it's like this is what I sort of respect about Melania Trump is that she does what she wants to do and what she's comfortable doing. I think she would be an asset. I think she has a real yeah, American no, she... story to tell, and she's um, definitely would help soften the president and talk to him in, about him in a human way. Right. Uh, to undecideds, to women, to, to people who want to donate. Um, but I think this is just something she's chosen to do. All right. Stay out of the spotlight. We'll stay tuned for Monday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.